But then, my, but then, but then, my better, um, my more in, industrious and um, you know, responsible side of the shoulder. Say no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Can't sit down your whole eye looking swollen. When last have you slept? No, I slept. Guys, were sleeping. My. <laughs> so believe me, I am well rested. I was working on a project late, 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 late this morning. I finished. I finished like about two o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Well, I small thing. But all right, the the eyes look sleepy, but the brain is not so. So the pro- <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure we have eye optics or something like that. Like, uh, so, <laughs> to put so, inside of there. No, 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 no. Why did my hand get to this? Let me fix this. Let me fix this now, please. <laughs> Don't worry. But our oh, time it will wear off. <laughs> all right, sir. So the floor is yours. Yes, sir. So a, a pleasant good morning to the listeners of Sky ninety nine point five. Always a pleasure to be in your company. Um. This morning, we're going to have a very interesting discussion. Uh, I decided I'm going to speak about uh, diseases or imbalances of the lymphatic system. Uh, because I, I don't think, you know, in, in all the times that I've actually done a radio program, that I've actually focused on, you know, the lymphatic system. So I'll do so, you know, um, to some extent, we'll discuss um, lymphedema, um, various lymphatic um, deficiencies or, or issues in the body, we're going to discuss how important the lymphatic system is, um, what are some of the things that you could do to actually maintain and continue to improve and have a well-functioning immune system. Not immune system, sorry, lymphatic system. And also what one would be able to do as it relates to preventing that particular situation. So that's what we're going to discuss this morning. We're also going to touch a bit on uh, the situation associated with the eyes, glaucoma, because more and more persons are coming to you with this glaucoma situation. Some persons confused because the thing with glaucoma is that if it is you deal with it early and you do the right thing in the sense that you actually address the root cause of the problem, then you wouldn't have any issues. And that's what a lot of persons don't understand. The problem with a lot of persons with glaucoma is that y'all are told, you know, you have a slight amount of glaucoma. And the thing is, you don't really go and deal with it properly. What you do, I mean, you give you you give on medical advice where you actually going to um, you actually going to start using these particular setup drops. So you're going to be given things like Zalatan, Cosup, Alphagan, whatever the case may be, and you have to use these over a period of time. The problem is from the base aspect or the aspect associated with the root cause of the glaucoma. You're not addressing that. Are you hydrated? Do you have any problems with magnesium deficiency? Do you have vitamin C deficiency? Do you have issues with malabsorption of your food? So you're eating every day, um, you're taking your vitamins, but you're not assimilating or digesting. And as a result of that, the body cannot now benefit from what it is you're taking in. So that's, that's what we're going to discuss today. And of course, we're going to touch a bit on arthritis as well. Uh, so we have to, we have... Yes, two hours this morning. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a very interesting program. Of course, as usual, we're going to open the lines. We're going to open the WhatsApp. So if you have questions, if you have any comments concerning um, the products and services that we offer at Batson & Associates, you can feel free to ask. So 
when we're talking about the lymphatic system, what exactly are we speaking about? Well, we're talking about that system in the body, that network of lymph nodes, um, lymph glands, that are primarily responsible for maintaining um, two things, cleansing the body, because your lymphatic system actually cleans your circulatory system. And you have to also pay very close attention to the aspect as it relates to lymphatic drainage. So the thing is, if your lymphatic system is not working properly, one of the issues that you may have or you may find happening is an issue where you actually start retaining fluid. So you actually have swelling. And that's primarily what is lymphedema, because an individual who is diagnosed with lymphedema, um, especially if it is in the legs, you find the legs swell a lot because the fluids are not being removed from the body properly because that's one of the functions of the lymphatic system to deal with fluid balance in the body. So an individual who has lymphedema, who has issues with a poorly functioning lymphatic system, is now in problems of not only having a lymphatic situation, but also having other organ systems get into problems because the lymphatic system is not functioning properly. And one of the key um, areas where that happens is an issue with poor circulation. So even people who end up with things like venous insufficiency, people who end up with DVTs, which is deep vein um, thrombosis, and particular peripheral circulation problems, pins and needles cramping in your calves, burning on your feet, discoloration um, in your feet, you know, your ankles, your instep. Those are individuals who are already showing signs of lymphatic insufficiency or lymphatic issues where the lymphatic system is not functioning properly. Okay, so that's something that you need to pay very, very close attention to. Uh, we know as it relates to organ systems and cleansing and detoxifying the body, the seven channels of elimination in the body are your kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. So the thing with that is that you know um, that uh, that particular area requires some assistance. And that's where we at Batson and Associates comes in because it's a matter of an integrative approach. Integrative meaning you're not just dealing with the symptomology. So you're not just dealing with the lymphedema. You're not just dealing with the glaucoma. You're not just dealing with the arthritis. You're actually dealing with the entire organ system that is affected and the root cause of the issue. Okay, so that's a very important thing. Let me just say a quick good morning. We are live on Facebook. A pleasant good morning to our Facebook family. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. A pleasant good morning to Miss Becca, to Miss Sherman Pierre, Miss Teresa Noel, Miss Josan Jules, Miss Pamela Moses. Good morning. Yes, Miss <laughs> Miss Moses. Yeah, don't worry. I, I, I will sort that out. Pierre and Face have an appointment this week. <laughs> I only know how the schedule is go, and then you know it's not every and anybody could deal with your hair and your face and thing. I, 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 I try not to um, be unfaithful to my barber and my hair people. Yeah, so sometimes that's require a little, you know, a little looking a little rough around the edges sometimes. But it's all good. Same, Doctor Batson. All right, um, Miss Emma Morris says blessings, Doctor Batson. Those eye drop is the boom. I can feel the difference when I run out of it. Please help us abroad. Okay, so that's a, a client who has actually used the eye drop. And, you know, she says, you know, she has really, it's a good product. And, and you see, the thing is, that eye optics formula, let, let me tell you something. Eh? Um, in my experience with individuals, you know, over the past years, um, thank you, Ms. Moses, you find that when it comes to your eyes, ladies and gentlemen of the jewelry, you need to pay very, very close attention to yourself. Very, very close attention. Um, so let me dip a little bit in the eye situation here. We're still discussing the lymphedema, but I think it's necessary to say this because I don't want to forget later on. Do not, I repeat, do not take your eyesight for granted, especially if you suffer from these two conditions. And I'll tell you what they are. If you are a diabetic and you are hypertensive, and you know, you know you have the bad, bad hypertensive people, you know yourself. Your pressure is the type of pressure you taking. They're giving you enalpril. You're taking atenanol. You're taking um, either bendro or some sort of lasik, some sort of diuretic. And still, this pressure is not going down. Listen to me. You're in problems. You are going to end up with a serious situation with your eyes. If you look at glaucoma sufferers, for want of a better expression, persons who um, 
are affected by glaucoma, if you look at the base aspect of certain things, you're going to realize that they always have a um, hydration problem. So they're usually very dehydrated people. They could be persons who drink a lot of water, but their body not utilizing the water. That could also be a possibility. So pay close attention to that because you find a lot of persons who say, but I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of water, yet you are still dehydrated. So it means um, that we need to really pay attention to that. Your eyes, I mean, who wants to be blind as an adult? I mean, if it is your born blind, well, I mean, you know you're missing. But you can't reach an adult seeing and then lose your eyesight in your 30s and your 40s and your 50s now. No, no. that's, that's a hard pill to swallow, boy. Not a real hard. So I'm saying that if you know you have a situation with glaucoma, listen and listen carefully to me. And, and this is not me criticizing doctors or the medical fraternity and that type of thing. It's simply letting you know, as I always tell you, you are your doctor first. Always remember that. Eh? Always you are your, 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 your healthcare care practitioner, your health care provider, you are the first person who's supposed to know if something is wrong with you. Of course, I'm not living inside your body. I don't know what's going on with you. You must know if you're having problems with your headache, if you're not feeling well. If you, you have to know. You have to know. And when you realize that uh, the situation requires work, focus on the situation. You have to. Because glaucoma is not something to play with. Glaucoma will blind you and it will blind you immediately. But it could be corrected. And there are a lot of issues when you have problems with glaucoma. One, you have vitamin A deficiency. That's, that's, that's one issue. Two, you have a hydration problem as it relates to proper blood flow in the cerebral hemisphere. So when it comes to your brain, you're not getting sufficient blood. Because we know blood transports what? Oxygen and nutrients to what? Cells. Cells give you tissues, tissues give you organs, organs give you organ systems. So if your eye themselves, the eye cells, the cells of your eye, the different aspects of the eye, the rec retina, cornea, the lens, um, that is not being fed properly. It means that you're going to have a situation where those cells are not being replenished as they should. So you're going to end up in situations. You're going to end up with things like macular degeneration. What is macular degeneration? It is a degeneration or a breakdown of the macula of the eyes, which is a particular part of the eyes that, of course, deals with the aspect of sight. So if you have macular degeneration or age-related macular degeneration, it is expected that your eyesight is going to be, or be um, beginning to be compromised. But the point I'm making is that that could be avoided. Um, at Batson and Associates, we carry an eye drop known as eye optics formula. Um, eye optics formula is an Ayurvedic preparation um, that uh, so which means it's it, it's the aspect or the, the root aspect of the product is ayurvedic now those of you who know me would know that at batstan associates a lot of the preparations that we have as it relates to protocols with products so things like inflammation formula nerve restore um optimizer a lot of those products have their base aspect in ayurvedic medicine chinese medicine holistic medicine um naturopathic medicine and the reason for that like for example if you look at ayurvedic medicine um where the eye drop is concerned one of the, the the foundations of ayurvedic medicine is the foundation or the aspect of equilibrium or balance so it primarily teaches that the body must always be in homeostasis or balance which we know that is what your body always tries to do your blood sugar um balance blood pressure balance um nerves balance so the thing is, disease and sickness only takes place where there is lack of or the beginning of compromising of one's balance or homeostasis in the body. So as it relates to your eyesight, where, where did the situation start to go bad? So one of the things I mentioned is hydration. So we know 70% of the body is water. Your eyes are primarily water, vitreous humor, right? Significantly, the tissues in the eyes depend on proper hydration. You ever hear about something called collagen? Your eyes also need proper collagen. So, you, so your foods that you eat should always be high in collagen or some particular aspect of collagen, right? Um, you could also supplement with collagen. There is something known as floaters. One of the main reasons people end up with floaters is because they have problems with collagen. There's a product that we usually carry at Baxter Associates with collagen and hyaluronic acid. 
the, the, the product is a, um, a product designed to actually rebuild collagen and hyaluronic acid in the product. When the product is used, it's usually very satisfactory, a little, a little more on the high-end side. That, that would fall in the category of a, a, of a, um, a, a high-end supplement. Um, but very effective, eh? it's worth every cent. Um, of course, when you're going into the realm of things like nitric oxide, because the thing is that Bad Stan Associates, if it is you need something and we don't have it, we could always get it for you. But usually the, 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 the lines that we carry, like for example, there's a product that we have called Enzyme Formula. Enzyme Formula is a, pro, a, a product that's primarily protolytic enzymes, systemic enzymes. If you, if you have a fair idea of enzymes and enzyme therapy, which is one of the things that we are trained to do, Enzymes have remarkable abilities, which is why your body has so much, which is why food, living food are filled, or is, yeah, are filled with, um, with uh, enzymes, because enzymes primarily act as catalysts. They, they do one of two things. They either slow down or speed up chemical reactions in the body. Without enzymes, proper digestion cannot take place. So protein, the enzyme for the digestion of protein is what protease. For the um, digestion of lipids is what lipase. For the digestion of starch is what amylase. Digestion begins in the mouth with salivary amylase, right? And amylase actually begins digesting or breaking down starch, right? So digestion and, and enzymes are key to the digestive aspect. What is the point I'm making? The point I'm making is a lot of times the foods that you eat do not have sufficient enzymes and your so as a result of that so dead food dead body as a good friend of mine always says so if you're eating processed food what are processed what is processed food rather processed foods are foods that the majority of things have been removed from it in order to keep it fresh in inverted commas longer so you usually have so granulated sugar processed most rice processed especially if it's power boil whatever the case may be um, because a lot of times they strip, they take off the top of the rice, so you don't have that fiber component, you know, because you want the rice nice and very, you know, slender and white. Fancy thing. Um, the thing is, what you don't understand with that is that with processed food, you the fiber intake and the enzyme capability is significantly diminished. So you're losing two key things there. When you consume a lot of processed food, you're losing fiber, you're losing, you're losing two types of fiber, fiber sorry. You're losing uh, solid or, or what is known as insoluble fiber, which is the fiber that actually goes through the colon and increases the transit time. So it ensures that you have proper ball movement within shorter periods of time. And then you have insoluble fiber um, or soluble fiber rather, which is the one that is actually in your bloodstream that actually helps in breaking down um, glucose and that whole metabolism um, aspect of the body. Now, the thing is, so you're losing that, but you're also losing enzymes, as I said. So it means that your body obviously cannot really take away much from that food. So all, all, all of you who like a lot of fast foods, I mean, if you do it once in a while, it's all well and good. But that is why your diet is supposed to have a lot of living food. What is living food? Nuts, grains. So you're looking at things like cashew, almonds, chia seeds, flax seeds, oats, all those living food seeds remember seeds give way to life if you have to plant a tree usually is a seed that you put in there right a seedling which now gives way to life so when you consume seeds or life-giving food living food it does the same thing it's an energy and a frequency situational so just as i was discussing the situation with lymphedema and lymphatic system issues one of the key components to not ending up with a lymphatic problem is to do what? Drink a lot of water. Remain hydrated as possible. Very hydrated. Okay? And you know the rule for drinking water, which is your body weight divided by two in ounces. Minimal intake on a daily basis. Just yesterday, I worked this entire week. Um, I had a very good week, long week, but good week. Uh, I was able to see a lot of clients. I was quite glad for that. Um, a lot of persons. And, you know... The good thing about it, we had a lot of revisits, and a lot, a lot of those revisits um, actually had wonderful feedback. You know, there they, was a lot of persons with excellent results. And um, one thing I'm asking you guys to do for me, please, to give Mr. Shaquille, who is a very hardworking, diligent gentleman, but um, 
you know, uh, I mean, we need to get some help for him uh, as it relates to, well, I know because of COVID too, with the situation, with the testimonies. So, you know, I am appealing to you guys who have come to Batson and Associates, who have had a positive experience. Even if you had a negative experience and all, you can share it because it would help me to ensure that we do better because it's not me alone. It's a team of people. And, you know, when you're dealing with a team, you know, you always have to try and keep things, you know, as professional as possible. And that's what we're striving for. You know, we can't satisfy everyone, but I try my best to ensure that, you know, we, we could at least reach our 98, 99%. Okay, so I'm saying that those of you who may have had good experiences, who may have, have a product testimony, you use the nerve restore, you're satisfied, you use the Santulan, you use the eye optics formula, you used the uh, Alcogen water, you use the Santulan, and you got good results. You know, just uh, you know, send us something. You could do it right on Facebook here on the live, you know, say, you know, um, when your name and everything would come up, you know, I used to and so for what period of time, and these were the benefits that I get, this is what I like, you know. You all are custom doing it, but, you know, I'm asking that more persons do it, especially with this testimony drive we're doing, because we're trying our best to get, because, you know, it helps, eh? you know, when someone, you, because a lot of times you'll hear somebody say, boy, I listening to a man on the radio a long time, you know, I, you, 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 you know, he ever went by him? Yeah. You know, if someone who you know closely, eh, Dominic, you know, that's how it is go. You know, somebody, no, absolutely true. yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, oh, boy, somebody you, somebody to say, well, yeah, boy, man, you man, want somebody man. to endorse the man. You see, yeah. watch me, yeah. that, that fella, you know, them people working, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Get them a check. You know, and the thing is, you might save a life because up to, up to just recently, I had a client who came to me. She, she said, boy, I didn't know anything about you. You know, somebody sent some video with me, for me, and I see this rasta yeah. man in a corridor talking to people and buffing them up. And I say, yeah, boy, I like this fella. This fella's song, and like, you know, he, he know, he, he know what he's doing. Yeah. And then she ended up coming to us for eye problem and, you know, a number of other things. And, you know, it's remarkable how well she feels and how grateful she is because she's a doctor about this. Dr. Batson is suffering for about 15 years where you was all the time. So, you know, that in itself. Think, think about if that was you, how you would feel. Think about it. So, you know, it's a matter sharing is caring so at least you know send some information there you know help us out a little bit i'll greatly greatly appreciate that let me say a pleasant good morning to uh, miss micheline cyrus um she said she received her shipment in canada good i don't know how long you're using it but i hope if you have started and when you do start that you actually get some good results um you know that you could actually not necessarily tell us all your business but you know share it with us and most importantly feel better let me say a pleasant good morning and a special good morning to Miss Kathleen Ishmael, Miss Pauline McKenna. Uh, pleasant good morning to you, Nicholas Valentine. Good morning, sir. Uh, Miss Haradan, pleasant good morning to you as well. So, sir, let me now uh, open the lines. Um, so we touched on the lymphedema, or the issues associated with the lymphatic system. We spoke a bit on glaucoma. So I'm going to talk or let you guys speak a little more now. So um, we're going to go to the Before telephone line. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a question here. Someone's mm -hmm. asking if you could tell how to use the healthy eyes diva mm -hmm. and how to take Santulan, and if you can do this process twice a week. Okay, good. So wh which process exactly, though? Sam, taking the Santulan? I think it's taking the Santulan. Okay, good. All right, so um, the IT. Okay, all teas yeah. that we carry at Baxter Associates, would usually be teas that well how you normally i personally use two tea bags now i'll tell you why i use tea, two tea bags because i have a very large teacup i am greatly annoyed when you bring those teacups that you know dolly house teacup yeah i i that's frustrate me you know give me a, a 16 ounce 20 ounce 30 ounce i have some huge teacups at my home i mean they're ridiculous but the reason for that is that when i drink when i'm drinking tea i drink in tea right so I want a mini cup. So the thing is, I'm saying that. So when you're using the eye, any of the tea bags from Bats and Associates, good quality, don't waste your money. So I normally put two tea bags inside of there, and I would stick the living daylights out of those two tea bags. So at least I am sleeping those tea bags at least two to three times. And that's what we do. So you just take the tea bags, you put it in, in, in water. As I said, get a good size tea cup. You steep it, and then when it is to the point where you can tolerate it, Hot, not hot, too hot to burn your mouth, but still hot to have a positive effect on the body, especially the gastrointestinal system. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll tell you something. Teas, I have single-handedly, and this is no boast, eh? and you could ask,
people who have worked with me and who work with me. I have, we have, let me just say I, we have brought back persons literally from death's door with just tea alone. With just tea, you know. Now, understand what I just say, you know. We have brought back people from death's door with just tea alone. Right. So, when you see people talking nonsense about, like, they can't get better, it, it, nothing frustrates me more. Well, I feel I feel frustrated for them too because I know it's, 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 it's maybe you don't know. I don't know. Yeah, right. yeah, because you see, it's a hurtful thing to be sick for years. And I always tell people that. You know, I got, you know, a little had a little run in with the cold. Well, I believe it was the cold. I went and I do a COVID test and it it, it right. came negative. But I was down for some days, which is not me. I mean, I haven't gotten sick for years, but I had a situation where I didn't really have much appetite, and believe me, that could take a toll on me. Because if you're not eating, and I literally had no appetite, all I could have eaten was fruits. So you know I would have lost some weight. And when you all see me came, come back, you know, let's say what Dr. Batson looking extra harassed. This man, what's going on with Dr. Batson? Do I? Yeah, one of my friends said, oh, God, that Tuesday when you come for that first program, Dr. Batson, look, oh God, you look atrocious. No problem, only know me. I have an open book I could take, you know. And it was true, I really, really, you know, got hit there where I was concerned. But I mean, I, I organized myself and I fixed up and whatever the case may be. So I'm just saying to you that that little experience I had, it was like maybe about six days or eight days. And listen to me, I was the most miserable human being on the face of the earth. Because I wasn't feeling to do what I usually have to do. And I'm the type of person, believe me, and I, I get up and get go, man. I get up, ting, 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 organize myself. When you can't do that, that's a frustrating thing. So I say, and I was telling my mom, I said, you know, I don't know how people just be sick for years and all. You can imagine you have a problem with your kidney or you have diabetes. You're not feeling good. You're high. No, no, no. And every day? No, nah, man. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. So I'm just saying that to help you to understand. Listen to me. Um, you know, yeah, and I, I, it's the antibody test I did. In fact, I, I did both of them. The antibody and the PCR. It, it was negative. But the point is, um, you know, it doesn't feel good to be sick for that period of time. And a lot of the times, I'm telling you, you guys, you're suffering yourself for nothing. Take what I'm telling you. Take what I'm telling you. You're suffering plenty of all you. All suffering for nothing, 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 nothing. I'll give you an example. There was this client I dealt with on Friday in St. James. And uh, nice lady, um, she brought back two bottles. And the two products that she brought back was Nerve Restore and Lame, and a product that we carry, which is a stem cell product. And she said, Dr. Watson, I make sure I walk with my bottle. So I said, when I look at the product, she said, you see this product here? And she showed me the nerve restore. She said, Dr. Watson, I can't remember the last time I got nine hours of sleep and felt rejuvenated. And you know, watch me, amazing product. I, I know my mama guy in here. And right now we low on stock here. Yeah? I know we should get, get back like about next week or before the beginning of the year because we low on that nerve restore. But let me tell you something. There isn't anyone who has used that product. Now, some only need more than our one bottle. I don't expect to jump in our one bottle, two bottle. And oh God, I hope Dr. Batson say this thing because some only need a three bottle and thing. But the majority of people um, would actually, in, a, in, in that situation, get excellent results. There's a gentleman I dealt with in DB2. This was just yesterday. He said, Dr. Batson, he said, you all have a product. He said, that nerve thing, the nerve restore. He said, watch me, boss out of this world. And that's usually the general consensus of most or all of the products that we carry. Yeah? Optimizer, um, inflammation formula, next excellent product. Um, because that product was specifically these. Because what I normally do, I sit down and because of the amount of experience I have and when I get people that come to me. So I've been doing this for years, right? About 10, well, 10 to 12 years all around there. Yeah? Um, Somebody saying something about audio is gone. I don't know. Um, you all hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear. Okay. Mr. Marin, you're sure? Uh, okay. Well, someone mentioned that the audio had gone. Right. Good. So, the thing is, you, you know, he's, as I was saying, he said, Dr. Batson, watch me. This thing real working good. It's real working good. And as I said, one of the things I sit and do is that when people come to me, it is very difficult for me to say that I cannot help them. No, I'm, I'm not saying that if I can't help you, I'm not going to tell you I can help you, you know. I'm not that type of person. But I will sit down and find out we are, I would, because I like challenge to it. 
I would go home and do some research and check certain things. And that's how we end up with the product line that we have. So we keep building on it because I usually have clients. Um, there's a tea that we bring for, for um, blood pressure. Um, there are a lot of blood pressure products I had here, but I, I got persons with blood pressure that was really hard and these people blood pressure are going down. And I said, no, we have to find a way. And then, of course, we got... So we keep getting new things. We keep getting better things. And we keep getting things that would now um, be able to have a positive effect on a wider cross-section of people. Because when you're dealing with supplementation and medication and, you know, um, vitamins, enzymes, that type of thing, you're always trying to find out a broad cross-section that is able to actually address a, a, a large group of people where they would actually benefit from the results. And, and we have done that, and we keep doing that, and we keep working on it. You know, so you, you want to look out for products like Nerve Restore. You want to look out for Inflammation Formula. Eye Optics Formula is our next good one. Santulan, of course, excellent product. Yes, Shaquille? Yeah, yeah, it is. Good. Yeah, he, yes, it is, definitely. So in, in, in a case like that, you are now in a situation where you must get benefit somewhere. You, you can't be suffering and tell me you're sleeping and you have anxiety when you get up in the night, your heart, like you have a heart attack. Just recently, again, yesterday, I dealt with a lady. And she said, she said, okay, but I was sick. I was sick. I mean, she's still sick. Eh? But the depression and anxiety was so bad that she, yeah, it was terrible. And, you know, when I told her, because she saw her sister who had the same problem, came to us. And when she saw her sister and heard, the sister was like, nah, you like, I should try to go and see this man. So there is help out there. You just need to be a little diligent. Sometimes a little humility does help. Because one of the things I was saying yesterday, it has some people, you're so smart. They're so smart till they're stupid. And there is dangerous people to deal with it because they, 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 they are at the point of stupidity that they don't even know they're stupid. And listen to me, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or facetious in calling people stupid. Maybe that's not the word I should use. But somehow they don't use all your upstairs. Especially when coming to your health. Use your upstairs. Think. I've had too many situations with people who have came to me, who have done things to themselves and had doctors done things to themselves. And you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Look, there was a lady who came to me. Someone told her she had to do back surgery. I said, woman, use her mad woman. You walk in with her limb. You want to go and do a back surgery? Somebody sit down and tell you that. They say, yes, you'll do this, this, this. It will cost about $150,000. But, you know, we have no guarantee. I said, Miss Lady, this is your back you're talking about. You know? This is your spine. You know? I said, you sure you want to go down that road? She said, Dr. Watson, that's why I come by you. Somebody tell me, you know, you can help me, whatever the case may be. All I simply said, I said, here, what are you doing for me? I gave them a protocol to boost and improve the muscular skeletal system. Because let me stray a little bit here. If you have a problem with persistent back pain, and persistent joint problems, bone pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, knee pain. You cannot only go to a chiropractor or a physiotherapist and do therapy. You cannot only do a nutritional protocol. You have to do them both, and you have to do them simultaneously. Let me stress that to you again. You have to do, when you're dealing with, because I'll tell you something. If you have herniated this, if you have sciatica, if you have whatever fancy thing they're going to tell you, they do that X-ray, they do that MRI, they do that CT scan, and they see, majority of the time, it could be corrected. You have to do the protocol. In is a double-edged sword you need. You need the physiotherapy aspect of it. So whether it's physiotherapy, chiropractor situation, and you also need the dietary fundamentals. You know why? Because you're fixing a problem, and the body's going to need proper food in order to rebuild those cells. So that's when we're talking about things like CMOS. We're speaking about things like um, gelatin, the unsweetened gelatin. You're speaking about things like collagen and hyaluronic acid. You're talking about things like agar agar. You're talking about inflammation formula, nerve restore, bromelain, um, enzyme formula. Because what you need to do now is build back whether it's cartilage, synovial fluid. Because any, let me tell you something, any substance in the human body, I mean, you may have some genetic issues where your body, you might have some gland that's not producing something or something like that. We're not talking about that. But usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, once your body is given the correct amount of new information, let me put it like that, because it could be supplements, it could be in the form of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, phytonutrients, it could be in the form of therapy, touch therapy, which is, like I mentioned, chiropractor, physiotherapy, um, copping, those type of things. It could be in the form of, of energy 
or where they actually now apply in things like zero point feel and so they started to deal with frequency so in those instances now because of those multiple approaches you are actually able to get better results and that's where a lot of y'all miss the boat as it relates to back problems and that type of thing you don't be, don't be suffering with back problem that's you crazy it has so much thing to help you you are back pain in this modern day eh? and you know yourself someone you, you, your back just gets so bad you, you're either lie down sit down you can't get up you know yeah it's, 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 no 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 we have things for that right so feel free to give us a call or visit those telephone numbers that you can call you can give us a call on triple two eight two six one that's triple two eight two six one as well as three one four nine nine seven five that is three one four nine nine seven five keep in mind that that number is a whatsapp number uh pleasant good morning to miss cecilia idan she is in st lucia pleasant good morning to you um those locations we are located on the first floor of money talks building that's money talks building in montreux chagonas we are also on the corner of ramsey mood trace and the ss Erie main road in Davie, as well as red edge mall western main road st james tobago is the triangle building in scarborough tobago um valentine is asking i believe it's nicholas valentine is asking doc what would you recommend for a fibroid that's 7.5 centimeters uh, you know what type of fibroid is it See if, can, see if you can determine what type of fibroid. If it's um in um they usually have what subsurosal, submucosal, intramural, and there are two others, pondulated and some other one. They're usually five. So it depends on the type of fibroids. But usually a fibroid like that, 7.5 centimeters, um, there's something known as enzyme formula, which thank God we have finally got. Now we're gonna get some more. We only got like about 75 bottles though, but um we're going to try and get some more in, in, the, in the very near future. But we would be getting... What is the, um, the status of, of, of the clinic? For the, for oh, for the, oh, for the holidays? Yeah, um, holidays. yeah. I wonder if I should announce this yet. I didn't make up my mind. You know. My team, as, as well as they work, and you know, I, I, I have to say that I have a well, a, a good working team, and, and they work very hard. Um, right. So we're going to be closing, God's willing, from the, the 24th will be our last day. Half day, I believe, and we'll be reopening on the third. That's all offices. Okay. okay, let me just repeat the WhatsApp number for Miss Emma Modest. It's 314-9975. That's 314-9975. So I hope you got that, Miss Modest. Miss Jessica Clark, a pleasant good morning. Please announce the live radio station too. Uh, the live radio station. Sky. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, Sky 99.5 and uh one of the things too as well so with the person with the fibroid situation so enzyme formula cyst and fibroid formula women's formula those would assist you're looking at some aspect of cleansing as well too okay so dominic the yes, ball sir. is in your court sir let's see if we could take some questions from all right all right so my friends the number to call okay. is six two five two seven five nine or six two four seven seven two nine six two five two seven five nine or six two four two seven 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 two nine six two four seven seven two nine or six two five two seven five nine you may send your messages or you may send a voice note to three 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 nine nine five zero three 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 nine nine five zero right well yeah Okay, good. No problem. So Crohn's and irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a serious complaint. Um. The thing is, well, well, when you're dealing with, so Crohn's, erectile bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, um, erot IBS, IBS um, erectile bowel syndrome, those are usually inflammatory bowel conditions. So we know we're speaking about the bowel, we're primarily speaking about what? The large intestines, right? Um, the gastrointestinal system comprises the large intestine, small intestines, and numerous other organs, right? Now, the thing with Things like irritable bowel syndrome and div um, div diverticulitis, uh, er um, Crohn's, 
you're dealing with an inflammatory situation of the bowels. Now, any inflammatory situation, in order to be addressed, one of the first things we have to do is reduce the inflammation in that particular area. I have found, quite honestly, a simple remedy, um, something that's going to give you a lot of help, is olive oil. So what you can do is take a tablespoon of olive oil on a daily basis. Empty stomach. Um, and if you, if you have an issue with using olive oil just like that, what you could do, you could take a tablespoon of olive oil and you add a teaspoon of either lemon or lime tape just to, you know, change up the taste. And it would give you a great assistance with that particular issue. Now, I have had persons who have used it and they got, you know, they, they come up to like about a 25% improvement, that type of thing. As it relates to what we offer at Baxter and Associates, well, what the individual also need to do, your water intake is very important. So I would suggest that um, if you can get the alkagen water, at least in the interim, use it for a little while, it would help you. If not, make sure and have, um, if you're using tap water, boil your water and have a proper filter, at least to filter it. Don't drink tap water and um, specific type bottle waters. I wouldn't call brands, of course, but you have to be very careful. You know, you know the ones that not too kosher. Um, because the thing is, you're dealing, you don't want to get any infection further or get that situation um, further infected where more inflammation or inflammatory response happens as a result of that added infection, which is why tap water should never be used, as I said, unless you're boiling the water and you're carrying through a proper fritter, um, filter system. So if you get maybe a, a, a Brita filter or someone, it have those. We have a lot of those things now. All those home stores have those things. Right? At filter your water. Okay? Um, what you're also going to need, there's a product we carry at Batson Associates called, uh, um, is the Stem Cell Digestive. Watch me. That product, A-class, for things like Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, digestive problem we also carry a product called digestive restore very very good product as it relates to that this the silver with the mineral formula is also going to help um because that has magnesium you have different aspects associated with your um colloidal silver so that is also going to help as well and i have actually had persons who have had serious bowel issues who came to us and have gotten significant improvement you know and one of the things i always try to tell persons if you come to batson and associate but well, you know, we deal with a large number of, of persons. You know, appointments are very difficult to get, especially if you want to see myself. Um, so, you know, it's a matter of once you understand the protocol, you know what it is you have to do. It's just a matter of maintenance. You know? And once it's, it's like everything, preventative maintenance. You wouldn't put an air conditioned unit in your house and wait 10 years to service it. You'll never do that. You wouldn't buy a vehicle and take 10 years, drive the vehicle up and down the place and well, it, it, you won't even last 10 years. You'll run off the highway. It will catch a fire with you. It will blow up or some kind of thing. Because preventative maintenance is necessary. Your house, when you build a house, you have to paint your, your ceiling. I tell people, things look nice when you get it in. You know? Anything. You get shoes, shoes nice. You get your shoes, you put it on thing. But your preventative maintenance, you have to put some polish on the shoes ever so often. Are you one of those persons who take your shoes under your bed and you only polish it when you're ready to wear? So if you wear your shoes in three months, your shoes won't polish. It will dry rot. Preventative maintenance. Everything is preventative maintenance. Your clothes, your house. You have to do that. So far more, your body. And that is what preventative maintenance is about. So I hope um, I answered your question there. Yeah, as I said, um, things like your, your digestive balance. The stem cell digestive is also very good. Digestive <clears throat> restore is very good. Silver with the mineral formula is good. Um, the alkagen water. So we could always do some sort of protocol for you. And you know, start helping you. All right. So oil. in the interim, what you mentioned the olive oil, but what what type of food? So what would you say the, the best food that she should be eating at this time? Specifically, boiled foods. You want complex carb carbohydrates, so primarily your provisions. So you right. know your dashing edos. Um, you want um, to not have too much complex carbohydrates. So I wouldn't recommend rice. I tell you, rice is a very troublesome food. There. Very, very troublesome. The only reason the Asians eat it and they don't end up in problems is because they balance with the other things. Their vegetable okay. intake is, 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 I mean, if you look at how much vegetables that the Asians consume, they use a lot of seaweed, different things like fucoidon, they use um, Irish moss, they use a, a lot of um, um, marine phytoplankton. So a lot of greens, a lot of roughage. So the rice doesn't affect them as much as they, it would affect people in the Western world. Because our vegetable intake is much less 
And then, you know, Chinese do a lot of raw foods. And so, so because of that, they balance out that rice equation. Rice in the grand scheme of things is not really good food to eat. In. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, but... You may say that, and I, I know I went uh, for sushi recently. Yes. And just realized how, how they eat or how, how traditional you would eat yeah. uh, sushi. Mm -hmm. I know. Just, just these small, small portions and stuff like that. Trend, that is, we can't function, you know? No, we mustn't function. And, and that's the next thing we don't understand, eating portion sizes. You know, yeah. people think, you know, like someone said, I just eat when I'm hungry. I say, okay, good, yeah. fine. But, you know, you must have some sort of conscious, and we could, we could help you with that, um, yeah. make a conscious decision um, to really now understand what portions are, understand right. what are complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates. A lot of persons, the average person, don't even know that. Especially if you're a diabetic, you should know the difference between complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates. Simple right. carbo carbohydrates are foods that have very high glycemic index. You do not want white potato in your diet. I always tell people that. Potato yeah. is, a, is a funny fella, and he's going to mess you up very, very, very bad. Especially if you are prone, if you're already diabetic and if you're overweight. You do not yeah. want to interfere with white potato. Leave it alone. People, right. you know yourself. The potato salad, people out there, you know yourself. If you know there's a, a potato salad monger, you is the man, the first man with the potato salad on a Sunday, you taking a two tablespoon of potato salad, you are going to end up in problems. Fries. All in all, you know, all in, the fries, people all in all yourself, right? I remember being in a line in a particular food establishment, and these people normally have a, a wide variety of things. You have a little provision, you know, that thing, sweet paper, that sweet potato, dashing. Edos, they had green fig, everything. And this particular person next to me passes everything that was healthy. And they took the meat and they took the fries. So I was like, you came to a place like this on a Sunday to buy food. And you left, you all, you took fries and the meat. Right. Yep. They didn't take a, a fresh salad. They didn't, no. How you would do that? How you would do that? You can't do that. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. All right. Now, persons on, on WhatsApp, don't get um, too annoyed with me. I will address your questions. But because of the situation with where I am with this screen, and for me to position myself here to scroll to answer your question, because I know um, Carmen Sterling has a, a question. I will answer your question. But allow me to deal with this aspect. And I'm going to, after, you know, I always come and I would go through the questions on Facebook. So permit me to do that. All right. Right, so let's see. Let's go to board here. Good morning, Doc. How do you take enzymes? Is it before or after meals? It depends. The, the ones that we carry, digestive restore, which is enzymes and more, that's a more herbal preparation. Well, a more herbal preparation, that's actually on an empty stomach or before meals and the digestive balance, which is primarily digestive enzymes, um, that is uh, after meals. After meals. But believe me, take what I'm telling you. You will not experience digestion as you should until you start to use digestive balance or any product of its caliber. Believe me, when I was introduced, to, well, when I was going to school, that's one of the key aspects because one of, we had to do a whole, um, that was what, boy, that would have been a, an entire semester of just enzyme alone. Our entire, that entire thing was enzyme therapy, which believe me, is an excellent arsenal in dealing with things like fibroids. I've had persons who came to us with triple blood, who were required to do triple bypass and quadruple bypass. And enzyme therapy is what I used primarily to clear all the arteries. They never had problems with their heart again. It's a powerful, powerful thing. So keep in mind living food. So back to the question very quickly, as I said, more boiled food. Try and have um, your little green juices. I know the, the problem a lot of persons have, you know, there's like when, where to get things. I mean, I'm not telling everybody to go and do a kitchen garden, but if you could do it, you know, it, it, you help yourself, help yourself, because it doesn't make any sense to sit down and complain, because 50% of the people who you're complaining to do care, and the next 50% glad is not them. So it really should be shutting up. Nobody don't want to hear you. So try your best and correct your, you know, mind your business. Correct your situation. If you had to get a little kitchen garden, your budget accordingly, because I know fruits and vegetables are expensive. I know, believe me, I eat a lot of fruits, and I know it's a pricey thing. I watch and I just wonder how people who have children this make out, you know. But at the same time, you could you could help yourself, position yourself in a particular way, invest and you know, in invest, invest in, in yourself, especially where your food is concerned. Okay. That's right. All right. So 
anything very quickly. We are saying a uh, very happy birthday to Christine Briom. Uh, she she's listening. She enjoys this program. I think she enjoys the people that you give people. <laughs> so oh, happy birthday to you. Uh, let's take this call. Well, good morning to you. Welcome. Yes, good morning. Morning, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, no, yeah, yeah. I know you, you can't come to be good, no nonsense, or they don't make jokes, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't play games. Um, you know, and to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'll tell you something, and I'll say this today. Where's the date today, boy? I like I like to speak things into reality. You know, today's the nineteenth of today's it is nine fifty four, the nineteenth of December, Sunday, two thousand and twenty one. And I, Doctor Jason Batson, so great. I using I using my whole name. Eh? You'll never hear that, eh? but I have a I have a neck. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the near that, you know, yeah. My name is actually hyphenated. Eh? It's Jason Batson hyphen so great, S O U G R I N, an accent, yeah. So I, I carry my both parents' surnames, right? I, I decided to do that um, for a number of things. I, I fancy too, eh? Yeah, I find, yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> and yeah, so great. So that makes matters, you know, and um. Tobago, I'll fix oil. I promise all of that. I promise. I promise. I could have left Tobago a long time ago. I had a lot. It was a. It was a. Watch me. It was a stress. It was a journey. No fault of the people at Tobago, eh? but you know, it was a, the whole situation when you know when the when the um the entire island ferry and believe me, I went through the ringers with that. But I must say, thank you to Tobago clients. I know you all feel that is ill treat you all, but you all know I just do my best, especially with COVID, because you know COVID messed it up where. But next year, God's willing, I mean, I know uh, I can't tell the future and God in charge, but uh, hopefully next year we're going to, things looking like it's going to be better and I'm going to make sure and do right by Tobago. I'm going to make sure and do right by you guys. I promise you all that. But as he said, I, I get a baptism of fire in Tobago. I remember the first time I went to Tobago, when I started doing radio programs, there's a gentleman by the name of Brother B who, in, um, who did my interview. And let me tell you something, Dominic. This person, you could take anybody in news and the media, journalism in Trinidad, and you could pair this man. The, the man is one of the best. It is one of the best interviews I have ever gotten in my life. And believe me, some serious people interview me already. But when, he, when I did the interview, he interviewed me for an entire week. And at the end of the week, he said on the radio, he said, listen to me. Let's see this man. I endorse this man. He not on games. And believe me, I was tried and tested in Tobago. And, and you know, they come out satisfactory. So th that was just for me to say thank you. And, uh, you know, as the gentleman called, I, it, it's always a pleasure when people use things and they get benefit. Because at the end of the day, you came to us to get results. And I'm a result-oriented person, which is why I behave the way I behave. Because I tell them, I don't want you to waste my time. Time is something that nobody could ever give you back. Always remember that. You will never get back yesterday. The day before yesterday, you'll never get that back. So it, don't let people waste your time. So I tell people, if you know you're coming to me, don't waste my time and don't waste your money. You work hard for your money, I would assume. So, and, and that is also to help people to understand, if it is you get the products and you're not sure how to use it for some reason, because that's something we're working on assiduously with my staff, especially coming in the, in, in the following weeks, we have some training and that type of thing. I don't like people to leave my office and do not understand certain things. Now, sometimes because of the volume of people that we're dealing with and the time that we could spend explaining, 
which is why we try to make it as, as very easy as possible. It may sound like a lot, but once you get a customer, you realize it's not a lot. So it's just a matter of understanding clearly how to use what you're using. Someone asked about the Santulan, and um, let me just run through it very quickly, where they was asking how you use the Santulan and how you use it is. And the thing with Santulan, Santulan is a very easy product to use. You need to keep a few things in mind when you're using Santulan. One, try not to drink it cold. So we know the mixture. It is a tea bag. It is three tea bags in a pack. The measurement has, is in terms of the amount of water that you're using is four liters, which is equivalent to one gallon. So you're taking a gallon of water or four liters of water. You have that in a big bottle, a gallon bottle or maybe a five liter bottle, um, which is the ones that we usually sell the alkaline water in. So usually where, where the bottles start to make the, where it comes up straight and then it starts to make the, that sort of belly, that bending shape there by the neck, as we call it, the neck. That is usually the mark for the four liters. So you put your water inside of there. Do not use your alkogen water to make a sandulan. That is wasting the water. That water is better utilized drinking because you could actually use the tap water, <coughs> or excuse me, the water that you are custom using. Let me put it like that. Remember, as I said, with tap water, try and filter it. Good. You put in that. You take out two cups of water. You put the two cups of water to boil. You take the three tea bags in the pack, all three. Do not use one tea bag. Do not use two tea bags. Do not use a half of a tea bag. Use the entire three tea bags because that is the dose. You put it inside of there. You leave it to steep for eight hours. So you cover it down. Don't watch it. Don't watch time. Don't watch clock. Nothing. Leave it overnight. So it can steep for more than eight hours. That is not a problem. You take it now and you throw what is now tea and your three tea bags inside of the bottle. And that bottle you're going to put in your refrigerator and... Uh, so the product has to be refrigerated. Now, let me help you to understand something. Do not show away your sand tool. And a lot of you all, just show away your sand tool before time. Listen to me. I deliberately had sand tool and made it and left it in my refrigerator for a year. And you know what happened after the year? I drank it and it worked quite well. That product will spoil so. Now, it, it, it might get thicker, but it's not spoiled. No, it's not spoiled. Once you have a proper working refrigerator, let me say that. That's the disclaimer there. If you know your fridge is working good, not to insult anybody, you know. You know fridges, they get trouble. You know, time of the year, Christmas. Time from time to time, you know, Christmas. If it's Christmas, you might be able to go and get a fridge somewhere. God bless you, you know. You know the situation. Though. But you must have a proper working refrigerator. And once you see you do that, you don't have a problem. So the Santula now, when drinking it now, you drink it on an empty stomach. Usually we recommend about 5 p.m. And here the logic with the 5 p.m. The logic with the 5 p.m. is that usually you would have lunch about 12 one, if you are a real terrible person, eat uh, maybe two o'clock, three o'clock, right? right? So if we give you three hours and you want to eat at three o'clock, it carries you anywhere in the vicinity of five, six o'clock. So you can now drink your Santulan, come home, so you can either carry it in your office with you and drink it, or come home and drink it, and uh, you allow an hour, two hours, and then you can have your dinner, which will carry you somewhere in the vicinity of seven, eight o'clock. Not so? And in drinking the Santulan at that time, the 5 p.m., you would get a bowel movement either late in the night or early in the morning. So I, we specifically put it like that so it does not affect working people. Because I started Santulan, well, no, I'm starting Santulan this week here. And I'll be working as normal. You just have to know how to drink it. Sometimes what we tell people to do, do a little experiment with yourself, drink your Santulan on a weekend. So you're home on the weekend, you could drink the Santulan first thing in the morning and look at how it operates with you. Because some people would get a bowel movement four hours after. Some people eight, some people eyes are 12 hours. I know I know this thing don't have science with me now. And a lot of our clients, since they have been using the product, you must learn yourself. You must know how it, re it reacts with you. So you know, hear what? Dr. Batson tell me five o'clock, but hear what? I drink the sand to land six o'clock in the morning. I went to work, good, 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 and thing. And I had a bowel movement and I comfortable, whatever. You have to know yourself. Because it, it is not, it doesn't make any sense. You're a taxi driver and you're working on your road and you say you want to take a cleanse, but you can't take a cleanse. You could take the cleanse. There are a lot of people who are dead now who didn't take cleanses because they were waiting for vacation and they never get a vacation. Don't let that happen to you. You know, Dominic and I saw people that say, but I had to take a cleanse, you know, I had to take a holiday. So you got to take a holiday to take a clean out? No, 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 no. We, we get better than that, man. So get yourself some sand to land. Those telephone numbers, you can give us a call. And especially, you know, Christmas coming. So, you know, you have a little black cake. They don't start sending gifts to me already. If you see, I don't need to see black cake and call chakra market already. So, you know, next week, no, that's we're supposed to start Santula next week. So, here how I'm starting the Santula. Eh? I will be doing my little um, 
partaking of you know some of the um the delicacies right yeah right, which right. i do not usually partake of but you know we will partake because of this time of year but i have my santulan there so you know if depending on how the christmas they run how you eat and thing you know boxing day you could take a little a little something i watch my andy ball movement really yeah andy ball movement really normal and thinking when i get diarrhea and thing for christmas you know but what you're doing is that you're not allowing yourself to pack on the pounds because it's have some people in a week time or two weeks of christmas they didn't put on a nice 15 pounds right do you know the hospital <laughs> do you know exactly the hospital mm -hmm. does have the most amount of people the time this hospital have the most amount of people who are not supposed to be there for christmas and carnival because that is when the delicacies are wrong. So right. try and part, don't partake of too much delicacies. The little rum and the little wine and the black cake and, you know, the, the punch of creme and everybody. Right. I'm saying no, but know yourself. You know you're hypertensive. Take a little bit of punch of creme. Don't go and drink down the whole bottle of punch of creme and then your pressure 200 and something over one something and you want to take about 16 tablets and swallow it. You will kill yourself. You're not because too long you drink. Because... You're not too long drink a set of alcohol. Right? Moderation. That's right. You don't get a, a blood pressure monitor for Christmas and you want to overuse it now. Well, that's the, whole thing, that's the whole thing about it. Okay? So, those telephone numbers again, get your Santulan. Keep in mind, we're closing on the 24th. So, if you have to get your water, your Santulan, any products, that type of thing, try and see if you can get that for this week. Or keep in mind, if you don't get it this week, um, you would not get, we are not opening God's willing until the third. We also have delivery. Keep in mind, I don't know how long we'll be running the delivery because, you know, next week to the road is Ahmad House. So, you know, we're trying our best. So if you could put those in early, we will try our best to, um, you know, facilitate you as much as possible. Those telephone numbers, again, are 228261. That's 228261, as well as 314-9975. That's 314-9975. Someone is saying, this is Sherman Fair, Dr. Batson, I live out of Trinidad. Received one eye optics from someone who traveled. Worked great. How can I get more of this product? And they put please in capital letters. Okay, do me a favor. Send, send your information to 314-9975. And we'll organize. Because we actually start doing ship, shipping out for persons. Um, in the meantime, until we're waiting for this whole thing with this whole shopping cart and this credit card business and everything. I mean, I've signed must be 100 documents for that already. It, believe me, serious business. So it's not that we're not being diligent. We're working on it. But in the meantime, we have to find a solution for you because you need to get it. So message us on that WhatsApp, 314-9975, and um, we will organize accordingly. All right, so we have two voice notes here. We will get, just get into them one time. Okay, good. Good morning, Doc. What I wanted to find out is uh, for the longest while I'm getting a pain on my shoulder, right? It's an unbearable pain. I went to the doctor twice, they did x-ray all kind of thing, and nothing. All they give me is some, what they call it, orphan, and some blue capsule. And when I take it, the pain started for a while, and as it wear out, it's coming back. When the hand moving about, like during the daytime, I'm not getting any pain, but you see it in the night, I could hardly sleep. I don't know if it's inflammation or if it's a um, a bone or something. I don't know if you can um, tell me what it is going on, please, because it is really, really unbearable. And I hear a lot of people complaining about that same problem. Okay. So she mentioned her shoulder pain. Uh, but the thing is, if you're getting any kind of discomfort or any kind of pain in the muscular skeletal system, it can be an indication of arthritis if it is not injury related. So the first question is, do you think you suffered an injury? Did you lift up something heavy? Have you fallen with it in recent time? Or could it, it could have been a while ago? Do you sleep on that side? How do you sleep? Because people who normally sleep on the side, the side that you sleep on, you know, is not getting proper circulation. So you could usually get some problems where that is concerned, right? Um, were you in a, a motor vehicle accident? So the possibility is that you could have some sort of misalignment issue. And it could be that. So it could simply be a matter of going by a chiropractor and addressing the situation. If it is not that, um, it could also be, as I said, infl inflammation, arthritis situation. And in that particular instance, 
That's where you have things like your um, inflammation formula. There's a product that we carry with, um, it's the Omega with astaxanthin in it. Very, very good product. That is actually help a lot of pain. And people would see severe pain. I'm talking about category 10 pain, 10 out of 10. And they got significant improvement in days with just using that product. Now, that may not happen for everyone eh, because it depends on the level of inflammation that you're suffering with. However, you need to ensure that you deal with the inflammatory response. If you can get yourself some turmeric, which is accessible to most people, if not everyone, at least, but now the thing is, when you're using turmeric, now you know some of you always overdo it. Please put an inch, a piece of this. If you're using your fingers, those of you who've seen that, eh? by, you know, your arm, um, these digits, that's usually measurement for like about an inch, right? You grate it inside of there, you put it in about 12 ounces of water, you drink that one drink. Um, turmeric is something too, depending on what you're doing, you should drink it. You could drink it any night, because in some instances, it could cause a little dizzy kind of feeling. So you want to drink it while you, you know, and go in your bed and sleep, right? Um, and you could do the turmeric like about twice or three times a week. It is very, you have to be very careful in using turmeric every day. Because remember, turmeric is a blood thinner and it can cause some problems. Okay? Um, as it relates to joint tea, is also a very good product we use at Batson and Associates. It is a tea that actually um, helps with the joint situation. Okay? All right. Uh, let's get into the second voice note. Brother D, good morning. Listen to your program. With the doctor always, but I would like to know what caused the burning in your skin, especially from your both feet underneath. What caused that burning? I've been to doctors, right? And always ask that question. And the answer is too much of iron. I can't understand that. But it seems as though anything I drink, like you can say, once it's acid. The burning will act up. If I eat a banana too, I realize after the burning will act up. Can the doctor tell me what is the cause of that? Thank you. Okay. So burning, um, severe iron. I mean, what, what, what she said, somebody told her it was too much iron. Too much iron. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, nah. too much iron can't cause that. Usually if you have printing things like burning, pins and needles, cramping your cars, burning on their feet, your body feeling very warm, hot, is usually, is one of a few things. It's either one, poor circulation. Two, neuropathy, which is nerve damage as a result of poor circulation. Three, mineral deficiency, magnesium. Imbalance, magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium imbalance. Those are the things that would cause that situation. Uh, iron, excess iron. With excess iron, what you'll experience, blood too thick, problems stooling properly, constipation, which is why iron supplements, you need to be very careful. I don't ever recommend iron supplements for any of my patients who have ever come for me for low blood count. I'm a big advocate of the advanced chlorophyll, which we carry at Batson and Associates. That is specific, that is under the equilibrium brand. That product is specific to us. Um, I would also recommend molasses, Big, big advocate of molasses for building your blood count. What you need to do if you use molasses, and we do have that available. We actually have molasses now. Um, organic, unsulfured, blackstrap molasses um, at Batstan Associates. Very reasonably priced, by the way. <laughs> uh, so the thing with molasses, molasses is like a whole food. You're getting like magnesium, manganese, um, because of the it's a nutrient-dense substance. So it's a very good thing to use, but you have to know how to use it. So if you're looking to build your blood count and you have a low blood count situation, then you can actually use it. Um, uh, it works actually very good with a product that we have called the same nerve restore and optimizer. Because what optimizer does, optimizer actually helps the bone marrow. And you know your basic biology, right? Red blood cells are produced where? In the bone marrow. So that's something that you can actually pay attention to. Keep in mind, we are live on Facebook. Let me say a pleasant good morning to our Facebook listeners. Uh, Miss uh, Nicole Vanderpool, a pleasant good morning to you. Rhea Smith, Regina Mori. I'm seeing a lot of questions from you guys. I'm going to answer your questions just now. But as I said, because of the screening and how I have to actually put my um, self, it's a bit difficult to actually access that currently. 
Okay, so I'll go back to Dominic. Uh, if you have. Hi, good morning, Dr. Rux. I did get COVID and for the pain, you see that white tea you all had? That helped me with the pain back. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, um, we're actually getting back some um, white tea and stuff. Uh, very good tea for pain. That was the reason why I actually brought it. Because um, there was a point in time I, I, I was doing a, um, uh, a gynae clinic. Well, consultant gynecologist. I'm not a gynecologist. But um, I, I could consult, like with most things, cardiovascular. I could consult in gynecology, which I do on a daily basis, actually. And um, one of the things that we actually um, decided to do was to actually bring in um, or start recommending um, things like the cyst and fibroid formula and those type of things. So as it relates to that particular situation there, uh, that is something that we could actually give you uh, assistance with, most certainly. So you could always feel free to give us a call. Uh, the telephone number again is triple two eight two six one, as well as three one four nine nine seven five. All right. Uh, so someone sent some images here, Doc. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot like a, a rash, a, a heat. You know, some rays, some rays on the skin, right? Right. I will forward it to the number. But they're asking what can be done because they say that uh, they have some stuff coming out on the skin. They've been to different doctors, health centers, and they even took information to register for the dermatologist. And up to now, they can't get a call. They're tired of waiting. It's literally all over the body. I'm seeing hands and legs. Okay, so they have some imbalance in the integumentary system. It really looks like, you know, when uh, an allergic reaction, mm. maybe heights. Yeah, that, that, it, it's coming, it's looking like heights on the extremities. Okay, all right. Um, well, the thing is, once you're dealing with any uh, imbalance in the the skin or what is known as the integumentary system so your integumentary system is just a big word for your skin which would make up the different layers dermis epidermis um your the dermis sorry epidermis um your sweat glands uh, your pores all those type of things skin problems are usually an indication of high levels of inflammatory response in the liver it could also be an indication of toxic overload in the body so you may be involved in oil and gas or anything like that, and you may have a situation where you have a lot of toxins where that is concerned. And as a result of that, toxins love to store themselves in tissues, and in turn, you end up with a reaction where the skin, the skin takes the most amount of abuse in the body where cleansing and detoxifying is concerned. Remember, you have seven channels of elimination, right? You have kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. One of the issues is that... Uh, you find that uh, uh, with the, the skin, the skin, remember you lose the most amount of toxins via what? Sweat. Sweat. Yeah. So if that fell in, your pores not open, you're not properly hydrated, your skin going to start to take some blows. And usually it's an indication of liver and gastrointestinal problems. We could correct that situation. Man. We have dealt with people with light and planners. And if you see the results that those persons have, and they have light and planners in... I talk about personal areas like private parts and taken females yeah 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 serious serious problem and no issue again great great improvement so uh feel free to give us a call or visit where that is concerned uh someone was asking as well as regards to the santulan if how long you could use santulan keep in mind as i said with santulan you can actually use santulan for an extended period of time especially if you're looking at weight loss if you know you have a persistent or a, a difficult colon that might require some work, then we need to actually address uh, that particular situation there. All right, so we're back to the board for just a bit. You can send the same messages, my friends, at 333-9950. Uh, okay, so business says they're not allergic to anything. All right, so Doc, quickly, could you give them the, um, the WhatsApp number so that they can... Uh, Send you those images. Yeah, definitely. Um, you could send it on the 314-9975. 314-9975. Um, and what I said, they're not allergic to anything. Yeah, that, that yeah. does not have to be allergy, you know. That does not have to be allergy at all. 
um, allergies don't that, that situation is one that that's an underlying problem that is organ systems involved that food that that's gastrointestinal liver um lymphatic system so in addressing that situation you have to go down to the base the root cause foundation in order to correct that all right uh, so quickly let's see uh Dr. Batson, if you had a carpal tunnel syndrome surgery on both hands, oh, can this affect your shoulders? Yes. Why did you do that? My God. Yeah, it could. There's a client I had who was diagnosed with carpal tunnel. One bottle. A stem cell product we used, just one bottle. By the time she reached about 10, that was it. Problem gone. Finish the bottle. So, I mean, it, you did it already, but you remember, once you do surgery, nerves that's what you know, any surgeon who is worth the weight in gold two things they don't ever and they, they always try not to perform surgery where they have to go around plenty of your nerves because they know it is easy to damage nerves because once those nerves are cut serious issues so the possibility exists you could have had some um issue there as a result of the surgery i believe you can still get results based on the situation the severity of the situation um you know things like the inflammation formula um the enzyme formula would also help you know um things like the jointy so we would be able to do some work if we do some um you know address some things with the muscular skeletal system great you can give us a call at six two five two seven five nine six two five two seven five nine or six two four seven seven two nine uh, good morning. I had a heavy, very heavy period this month, and I am feeling weak. What can I use? Uh, okay, in, in, in those situations, um, <clears throat> well, we need to know why you're having um, a heavy period. Uh, I don't know if this is the first month that you had the period, but the thing is, if it is you have a heavy period, it is an indication that something, something is wrong. So you need to address that situation. So it could definitely be an indication of hormonal imbalance, uh, endocrine issues. Uh, if the period is very heavy, you need to watch yourself because if that continues, then you'll reach a situation where you will have low blood count, right? So we need to address that. So I would suggest, uh, oh, let me say this. I know... Um, you don't want to just buy things just like that if you have a situation. Now, which is usually why a lot of times when people call, I try to like list what it is I recommend for them to use. And if they go, one of the consultants will actually go through it with you. Now, I know, I'll say it again, a lot of people want to see Dr. Bats. They want to see me. And I have no problem with that. But from the practical perspective, obviously, it's a numbers game, right? I'm one person. I mean, I worked in Shogunas on Monday. How many people I saw? 20. I worked in... Uh, on Wednesday, I worked in Shogunas, so I think I saw like about 25 people. Um, that would have been over five, six hour period, depending. So it depends on how, how we go, that type of thing. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of work. Yeah? So what I'm saying, I, there was this particular client I've dealt with, a numerous, eh? he saw me for the first time yesterday in Davy. You know when he came to us? He came to us in March. What month are we in? December. Yeah. When he saw me, all we had to do was put a tick and must be put a little smudge on the cake, pass back a piece of ice. Then, then. His results was exceptional. And he dealt with Ms. Ramdan. He dealt with Karishma Ramdan. The thing is, we have, put, we have put a system in place to help you in such a way where we know exactly what it is we're doing. I'm not saying it's 100% guaranteed. But you can't be doing this for 12 years and don't know where you go. Now, some people would think 12 years is not sufficient experience. But believe me, for me and the amount of work that I just put in, my 12 years experience equivalent to about 36 years. Stay quiet telling you, for some people. The amount of people I've dealt with, I, I've dealt with a number. Right now, I have, I have a case. I have cases on my desk. I'm going about this. And that's people who I, I am not going to see personally. That's international clients. And I have gone through all, done my research, everything. So when you do work like that, you just get good at what you're doing. You just get good at what it, which is why sometimes I could talk to somebody on the phone and I just get some basic information and I could do a whole protocol for you. And it will work. That gentleman, that is what that gentleman was the gentleman who spoke about the nerve restore. 
he had a bad sleeping problem. If he had waited until he saw me to get things, look at when he came. He came in March, you know. Right. We in December, the man already came back about, was he 10 times in my office and buy things, get good results, blood sugar, I read him good. He not using no sugar medication again, not using no pressure medication. Sleeping good, lose weight, um, good bowel movement. And when he come to see Dr. Batson, all I had to do, um, he did the tests, and I worked alone in Debe yesterday. So I, and I don't normally do blood analysis and scan. The consultants would do it and I would just review. But I did it for him. Excellent. And that experience that I give you, we have hundreds of those. And that's why I try to tell people, I know it has been difficult for the weight, but try and work with us. If it is, you have to come in that office and you just see a consultant. There was a lady, I, I was in St. James Sunday, and I walked in and there was this lady by the counter. And uh, something I heard the lady, I overheard it. And I went to the counter and I said, mm -hmm. she got a consultation right there. Quick, 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 quick. Quick and in a hurry. She got it. She started using the products. Boss me, she's, she loved Batson. She said, Dr. Batson, I people just say, but you working for that man? The amount of people she sent by us already. But she got the results. If it's one thing, our products work enough. When people watch me in my face and use sand to learn and tell me they didn't get results, it's two things that come to my heart. I either this grief thinking, nah, boy, this product can work with you, or I think you're lying. Or I'll send you by a vet. You, 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 you know, a human being. Yeah, yeah, something wrong. Yeah, something wrong. So usually it is just a matter of tweaking certain things. Understand that. Okay? So those telephone numbers, uh, you could give us a call on 222 8261. That's 222 as well as 314-9975. That's 314-9975. And those locations, we are located on the first floor of Money Talks Building. That is Money Talks Building in Montreux, Chagonas. We are also on the corner of Ramsamood Street and the SS Erin Main Road in Davey, as well as Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James, and Tobago is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. All right, so let's take a quick call. Good morning, Tim. Yeah, welcome, Dominic. Again, yes, I'm going to talk to the, the Dr. Annabelle Batson. Yes, Annabelle Batson. Yes, Annabelle Yes, sir. How are you doing? Everything in our game, boy. Good, good. What problem we have, you know? You have excellent thing long, long that we hang up here, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, is that his explain thing long, long? All right. Sorry, sorry. If you're not happy, if you're not happy, I'll tell you. All right, all right, all right. But you see, the thing is, when I answer any question, I'll give the answer. We don't get cut off. All right, I hear you. I'll try to make, I'll try to make my, my answers more concise. Thank you so I very much. Uh huh. Right. Yes, good, good. I follow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Thank you. You as well. I know, but I say, well, let me talk to the, the madam now. Good morning, my dear. Morning, morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I don't know. So long we had to talk again, and the man said he would call your name correct. <laughs> uh, uh, you're talking good. You're talking good. So everything all right? Yes, my brother. You know, what I want to do, if somebody gets clean and they can't use, you can't use anything. The person got... Okay, so... so yeah, but what type of burn? What? Two degree, four degree, severe burn? What? So water, 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 fall on the bed in and... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, what they could do? What, if, what are the first... They were tough. They were tough with it. Okay, good, good, good. Well, I'll, 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 I'll mix, I'll mention some, some things on the line that he could start yeah, to use. But, but doctor... Yes, sir. The man who says that, like, you get going to tell me by the neighbor father. Right. Right now, she didn't burn you, a uh, you know, then, um... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, she got burned last week, yeah, boy, and they rushed her there. So, uh, she stayed down to get her bed, yes, but she, but she gets you guys, as her sister living next door by her in a room in Robert Street now. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Like, it's a bad burn, you know what I mean? So, they have her there still. Yeah, well, once she in the hospital, well, what, we, what she could do is, uh, um, she going to have to get things like vitamin E and that kind of thing. But you see, once she, she the hospital going to have to deal with her. 
And then after that, I could I could make recommendations to increase the the, the healing and speed up the arm. The process. Okay, good, no problem. Okay, well, later. Okay, boss. All right, the six two five two seven five nine and six two four seven seven two nine. We we'll try to get up to, to not go into these long talks. Sets, long right? talks, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but quickly with the burn. So, anyone who get burn, any kind of burn, one of the things you need in your diet. You see, things when you when, when your skin tissue like that damage, you need a lot of healthy fats in your diet. So you're talking about your omega three six nine. Um, so that person is going to have to purchase. Um, uh, omega 369, and uh, they're gonna have to use it like about 3000 milligrams, 4000 milligrams a day. Uh, they're also gonna have to use uh, vitamin E. So you go, you get a vitamin E, you double the dose of vitamin E, and um, depending on the degree of the well, as I say, the burn, you, you're looking at your, your protein intake, so it means they're gonna have to consume more eggs um, and the healthy fats, things like coconut oil. Um, cod liver oil, those type of things, to actually help with the tissue in healing the tissue so that the tissue heals faster and um, heals with the least amount of damage. Because that has been the biggest concern with burn victims, eh? especially when you see the, 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 the... Well, it depends on the type of burn. In this case, it's water. But the thing is, the area is very sensitive. It's the stomach area, very close to the navel. So you're looking at giving, assisting the body in healing faster than normal. Nerve restore will also help because that is an adaptogen, which actually helps the body to heal faster than normal, which is what you want. Um, so those are some things that they could actually use use there. Okay. All right. Uh, Someone is asking, well, what can you say or insight that you can give to uh, cervical spondylosis? Ooh, cervical spondylosis. Spondylosis is okay. So that's in the spine, the cervical region. You know how your spine is, is separated? You have um, the cervical, uh, you have the, which is, um, then you have the thoracic, then you have the lumbar, and then you have the little portion, then the coxy, or what you call your bottom bone, those last bones there. So with cervical spondylosis, what you have in there is that you have inflammation in the cervical aspect of the spine. Now with spondylosis, you have like that pressing on the, so in between, you, the, the, the cushioning that they have is not there. It, 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 is, it, is, it is actually um, deteriorating. And as a result of that, the, the, the spine now, the, the, the disc could actually start rubbing on each other. Right? But things like spondylosis, as I said, herniated disc, all those things are really indication of, of large or high amounts of inflammation in the body or in that particular aspect of the body. So you need to deal with the, the inflammation aspect. So you're looking at inflammation formula. The, um, the omega with the astaxanthin, very, very good. Very, that product is exceptional. Uh, um, what again, boy? Optimizer, revitalizer, those type of things to help the body heal faster than normal. Yeah, a lot of people do not know that there are certain foods that, as I said, increases your body's ability to heal. And those are the types of food that you would want, especially in instances of injury. So like post-surgical diets and that type of thing those are things that i can do <clears throat> or post surgical um protocols to actually help the body heal faster from the from the surgery very very important okay if, even sports nutrition there are some of the things that you have to utilize as well in dealing with athletes and injuries sorry uh call it good. Oh, sorry. my computer yeah the yeah, go right ahead. Right. Sorry, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Um, I'm calling here with reference to um, what happens at Hazard. And that's when bubble wise are uh, coming to post me. Right. Um, so it causes a slight cultivation when we're going to delay bubble. Right. And as a result of a night of day yesterday, I told me that um, I should go. Uh, Colon oscopy and uh, endoscopy. Right. We recommend a barium means to the right more like a patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A barium is solo. Endoscopy and a colonoscopy. But let me ask you something. What is the top one? And this is a job I don't have a tree that should I not or should I delay with the colonoscopy and the natural pathic? Why do we not like the idea of that? Because I know with that other research, 
Thanks so, thank so very much, man. Same to you and your family. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> so based on what you said, you're saying you're having a situation now where you find your bowel movement, you're not going to the washroom as often or as you would like. Right? So um, so let's look at two things. So, so let me run through some things that you put me. Now, the thing is, when you're stooling, your stool is supposed to look a particular way. One of the things you're supposed to get in terms of size, your stool is supposed to be the size of a banana all around there. Con the consistency of toothpaste. Color is debatable. They normally say the color of cardboard, but it depends on what you eat. So if it is when you go to the washroom, you see in stool, you know, the size of a banana. You're looking at maybe about uh, two inches, two inches in diameter, three inches in diameter. Now, not to get graphic, that's very big stool. But usually when you see stool like that, that means that individual is very healthy. And it means they have sufficient amount of fiber as well as sufficient hydration in the body. Good? Now, if you find, based on what you're eating, you're not going off commensurate with what you eat. So in other words, there are some people who are very small eaters. And usually people who are very small eaters don't have frequent bowel movement as they should because they don't have sufficient fiber in the diet. So if you have a very small eater, you know, you sit down and eat a little small plate of food. You all know yourself. You usually find people like that tend to be more prone to constipation or prone to not having a bowel movement daily because the, the, the food is not bulky enough to give them sufficient fiber to decrease the transit time. Remember, when you take fiber in, insoluble fiber, so we're talking about things like oats, flaxseed, chia seeds, you make a little mixture with some sea moss, you add um, maybe a half cup of oats, um, one tablespoon of chia seeds, a teaspoon of flaxseed, you throw in a, a tablespoon of molasses inside of there, um, a banana, uh, you throw in some, um, this thing, some nuts, blend it up, throw a little coconut water inside of there, you could put some yogurt, that's a nice mix there. So you're putting fiber in the diets, you have the yogurt, so you have a little bit of probiotic, prebiotic situation going on there. So it will start to help the gut. Now, if you're doing those two things, you're drinking a lot of water, you're consuming fiber, and the, and the situation persists. And it's not an injury situation where, okay, you could have possible a situation where you may have injured yourself, you fell, you lift up something heavy, and maybe your intestines may have shifted or kink or twist or semi-block, something like that. That could also be a, a, a situation, and you're not necessarily getting pain because the situation is not advanced to reach the point of pain. That could also be a situation. Now, as it relates to the colonoscopy, colonoscopies are 50-50 with me in the sense that it is not something I would recommend too much for persons, but it depends on how bad the situation is. So if I have a patient who may have severe bleeding, they go into the washroom, they see a lot of blood, they may be seeing things like a lot of cold, they may have, um, they, they, they appear to have symptoms associated with, um, with irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, you know, some sort of intestinal problems, but we see a lot of blood, there's problems, frequent bowel movement, um, diarrhea, looking stool. Then in a case like that, I would recommend a colonoscopy. If they have serious problems with acid reflux, bloating, they coughing up blood, they see blood in the stool, then endoscopy. I think in your state or stage, based on what you have told me so far, I wouldn't recommend you go that way as yet. What I would suggest you do, you reset your body. And when I say reset your body, we're going from dietary perspective. Um, I would recommend a chiropractor for you. So we're going from ground level base. Um, get some santulan in there, the digestive situation, um, digestive balance. Increase your water intake. And I believe once you do that, your situation should be corrected. Because I have had persons who had constipation for years who came to me and they don't have the problem again. So I'm just saying that I don't think your situation serious enough to warrant going down the road of a colonoscopy and an endos uh, endoscopy, at least as yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Based on my experience, I believe it's just a matter of a slight imbalance there. Take into consideration what I have said based on the amount of food you eat, the roughage intake, the water intake. Try and improve those. Um, you could always contact me via the, the WhatsApp situation, the 314-9975 um, situation there, and I may be able to provide some more information with a chiropractor because, as I said, you may have a, 
alignment situation or misalignment situation beginning there where the, the colon is out of, out of alignment. It may be resting on something, the loop. Because I've had serious instances with a lot of clients who had those situations. Right? And I believe once you do that, boss, you'll be all right. All right. Okay. So we go back to the person who messaged earlier about the heavy period, right? Mm -hmm. They say that they have fibroids and uh, endometriosis. They're seeing a doctor for the problem. Remember, this month of the period came very heavy. All right, okay. so we'll get back to that in a bit. Let's take a quick call. Uh, 625-2759, 625-2759, or 624-7729. Now, those are the numbers, my friends, and this is the program. Overcoming Health is used naturally with our friends at Madsen and Associates. Well, good morning to you. Okay, wait, just now, just now. Don't, just, don't hang up, don't hang up. Okay, so that swelling that you get on the right foot, it's first time you got that or you had that before? Well, this morning it's a little more, but it was slight. Oh, and the next thing to I get in a little cramp on the right foot. Okay, so I'm asking something. In your experience, is it that you find the that right foot accustomed giving you trouble? So you're getting cramp, you're getting swelling, you're getting like pins and needles, that type of thing? Yeah, kind of needles. Like needles, yeah. Right. 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 And you said you did a surgery. Where? What type of surgery? The fifth uh, ammonia surgery, the fifth uh, October. Okay, good, good. All right, so make sure and get some CMOS. Uh -huh. Yeah, and try and use some CMOS. No milk or sugar in the CMOS, eh? You can mix uh, it with uh, some, uh, some oats and... Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, the CMOS, which area are you calling us from, though? You're trying to interview? Uh, uh, area. Okay, cool, cool. Um, There's a product that we carry called... Um, Optimizer, Op right? Optimizer, nerve restore, so that'll help the body heal faster than usual. What you could also do is um use some uh, olive oil, a tablespoon of olive oil every day yeah. for six weeks. Any any time any day or no? Yeah, any time any time for the day. Well, not with not with food. Like it, it, you could take it like maybe fifteen minutes before you eat or on an empty stomach. What about if I take it in the night like, before I go to bed, like maybe an hour before? Yeah, that's that's good. That could work. That's no problem. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So once you do that, um, and the situation, you may have to get some circulation tea. Uh, I could recommend somebody for you. You might need. You have a little alignment situation. I know you say when by people, but uh, I, I I could send you by who I just always tell people I find is the best. Eh? I mean, I I haven't dealt with everybody, but I I have sufficient dealings with this gentleman to know that that situation shouldn't be a hard situation to correct. Oh, wait, like, like they're kind of dragging at the right time. Yeah, they're dragging because it's an indication. You have an injury there and there's nerve damage. Right. Yeah. So it's a matter of, and that's what I'm saying. You need to do the alignment aspect and you need to do the nutritional aspect, but it must be done simultaneously in order to get long-lasting results. You understand what I'm saying? You have to do both of them together. What a lot of people just do, they just go by the chiropractor or they go by the physiotherapist, do that, and then they leave it. And then after, they might saw somebody like myself, which is why we have so much people now, when I send them to this person in Maracas St. Joseph, now they're getting so much a result because they're working, we're working side by side. So I send them to him. He does what he do, he do from 
the mechanics aspect, and I now do from yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the nutrition, yeah, yeah. the physiological, and, and, and they're getting real good results. So that's how you have to approach it. Well, what you could do if, if you could if you could send send me a message to the three one four nine nine seven five number, just um mention that you are the person who spoke about um the swelling of the feet and where you're from and that kind of thing, uh -huh. and I'll contact you and I'll tell you what to do. All right, okay, okay thank you very much. You're welcome, so, sir. Um, Sorry. All right, good, no problem. All right, so you can listen up. You can listen up here. Uh, six two five uh, two seven five nine six two five two seven five nine. Uh, let's see. Ask Doctor Benson if the person is forty two years old and the period stops and uh, they're not having sex very often. Sex is very little. Right. Uh, what can he recommend or say? What is going on with the person? Wait. Let me. Okay. Let me see if I get All it. Right. Uh -huh. So let's see. Email. Right. 42 years old. Good. Period stops. Right. Uh, low sex drive. Right. Uh, what would you say is the issue there? Well, she has to pay attention to herself. The possibility is that she could be going through menopause. She could be premenopause. Huh? Um, I don't know if you have a history of hormonal imbalance where it is normal for your period to, to stop or change. Um, if, if that is the case, then it could just be hormonal imbalance that we need to fix. Uh, However, the possibility exists that you could be premenopausal, um, where we know, um, not pre, sorry, why am I saying, um, yes, correct, premenopause, pre, um, uh, where you're actually now developing signs of like PMS and that type of thing, um, which can either be pre, during menopause and post. Eh? I mean, people look at PMS and say postmenopausal syndrome and think that's the only time women have problems with menopause, but that's not the case. So the possibility exists. Um, so once we do some balancing with your hormones and that type of thing and everything is good there, the period would come the way it's supposed to. If it's not coming the way it's supposed to, as I said, the possibility exists, endocrine problems, hormonal imbalance, or it could be the situation where you are now pre-menopause. In order to find out if you're pre-menopause, what you could do is maybe if you have elder sisters, ask them when they went through menopause, if your mom is alive, because usually that tend to be the same in families. Because your menstrual cycle has to do with how many eggs you have and not your age, right? You know, women can see the menstrual cycle till the 60s, right? So. All right, let's take a call. Good morning to you, Connor. Good morning, Dominic. Oh, God, why are you so long? I'm going to do it in the way. Anyhow. Yes, sir. This voice song, in this voice song, in familiar, boy. Happy 40, 40. Of course, Mr. Ford. How are you doing, sir? Well, I'm full, boy. I can't get time to come and see you, boy. If you get some kind of appointment, I'm going to have an appointment. No, 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 With a bag, exactly so, exactly so. Yeah. Humble, humble beginnings. Which one, sorry? Oh, before we used to do, we used to use um, ISO tea. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, them is that is that. Now, so 14 years, 14 years, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I didn't get no problem with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, boy. So, I'm going to start back on the eye or what, boy? Well, I mean, because when he was using the eye optics, how the eye was feeling? And did you still feel better? Right. Good. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the situation with, with that eye, boy. I mean, what you want to do, you want to try to be as comfortable as possible. So, once you know the eye optics formula helping you, at least use it. You don't want to use, because it's normally put, at least, if you put one drop in each eye, morning and evening, it will still help you, you know, to keep the eye from feeling like gravel and that whole sandy yeah, feeling. I don't get that. I don't get that. You don't get that? No, nothing like that. Nothing. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Grass planting, no. What is get some tiny ampy? Uh-huh. 
All right, but here what I'll do, just, I will make a note because I have your information. And when I go to the office um, on Monday, I'm supposed to be working in Shogunas Monday. You know, I, I'm supposed to be in Shogunas Monday and Wednesday. I do not make up day for them. I'll go Monday and I'll organize and I'll, I'll fix your appointment. I can't do that. And then, and then to sleep now. Oh, you're getting trouble to sleep? No, 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 man. You need to get some nerve restore and that new arm. That will make I have okay. By the time I hit you, that you dies a day. You sleep in a well, nice eight well, hours. Well, how them, how them thing with the phone when, I, when you give me that for me? All right, good. No problem. All right. I, I trust you for that. Day. Yes, man. But uh, thanks. All right. Thank you. You keep going and the best for the holidays. You too, man. Right. Take care, sir. Nice you hearing from you. Thank you very much, my friend. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thanks, man. Someone says, Doc, you didn't even try. You didn't even try to, to, to talk short. <laughs> I didn't even try to do what? To talk short? <laughs> to keep the talk short. <laughs> oh, God, no, no. Time to Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Honey, and them having a wonderful time on this on this um, live here. Pleasant good morning to Honey, and Jessica. All they're they, they in, in, in good stead this morning. All right, so we take your calls at 625-2759 or 624-7729. We will get back to you. We want the questions answered, everyone. We all want to benefit from the answers. All right, so let's take a call. Good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Right. Could fix that man yeah, that is yeah yeah that is That's a B vitamin. All right. Okay, good. No problem, boss. All right. So, Dominic, you had to help out a little bit here because at a certain point in time when you were talking, I was getting the feedback worse. I wasn't getting. So, I think, so in, in summary, I think what he was saying, he was getting a problem with uh, the uh, the hip it was and it, it running down to the side yeah, of the leg right down to, right down, right down to the legs did right. he say which leg was he okay right but he's getting these uh feel like there's little marbles under his feet now right and it's becoming it's not he says it's not too much pain right but there's a lancing sensation right that he's experiencing and it's so it's a lot of discomfort basically Okay, cool. All right. Well, we'll deal with that. You see, the thing is, as I said, 
alignment issue or misalignment is a, is a serious thing, and a lot of people don't understand it. So if, if you were to scale your organs or, or scale your body in terms of um, proximity of organs, so we know. So, okay, so if we were to look at uh, uh, um, small and large intestines, stomach, you see how close those fellas are, right? Now, um, everything compact here. So the thing is, if one moves by an inch, it's going to shift somebody else an inch. And so they're going. So everybody going down the road. So the, the, what a lot of people do not understand is that when you have misalignment or malalignment, what you find is that organs... Could you, I'll give you an example. There was a client I had who came to me, and she had a problem with bowel movement. She complained that she found she wasn't satisfied with the bowel movements that she was having. She would eat large amounts of food, but she would get bowel movement like once a week, the people, belly will be paining, swelling, a lot of fluctuations, gas and that type of thing. So I told her to go and do an ultrasound for me and she did an ultrasound. And what the ultrasound ended up showing is that there was a slight kink in the colon. Now, because the ultrasound um, wasn't, no, I'm mixing it up. She did an MRI, that's it. And then when she did the MRI, I found the MRI wasn't as conclusive as we wanted it so she ended up doing a ct scan and when did the ct scan the ct scan actually showed that there was some shift or movement in the intestine area so everything went off by maybe about four inches and that actually was causing the colon to be compressed in certain in a certain area and as a result of that stool was not coming out as it should now keep in mind if that if that situation had remained for an extended period of time she would have died right because it, 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 it was not complete blockage, but it was moving towards that. Do you know that there are people who reach the point in their life where their colon is completely blocked? Now, you don't want that to happen to you, because that is something called a colon resection. If, you, if, it, if they catch it in time and you meet a good enough doctor, they'll do a colon resection where they will take off piece. So you, you know your colon is like about 23 feet in length. So they might take out about that two feet, three feet, join it back, if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, You'll have to remove the entire thing, and then you'll be left with something known as a colostomy bag, which nobody wants. Because that would actually have to, you'd actually literally have to carry around a colon now, right? God forbid you don't want that to happen to you. So, um, so what I would say, I would believe you have some discomfort. You said you went to some persons. I don't know who you went to. I know who I normally work with. I can make some recommendations for you. And then, of course, things like your nerve restore, um, as it relates to, to joint, the joint is also a very good product joint and pain and that type of thing, the inflammation formula, top of the line product as well. So we can introduce some of those together with, as I said, those, those, those protocols should be done simultaneously in order to derive the maximum benefit associated with it. Problems with a lot of people with your back. And, and let me make something clear to it. A lot of persons have to understand supplementation. I try my best to educate you all as much as possible. And I know we get in there. But if you have a back problem, Omega-3 or Omega-369 is your friend. Always remember that. The problem with most people, you all do not use sufficient amount of omegas. Let me tell you something. Anybody on the face of the planet who come in to tell you that Omega-3, 6 and 9 is not good for you, they need to go run them, run them. Get some gear bucket and dirty water and throw it on them. They're talking shippiness. They want real foolishness. They want to wet down bad, bad, bad. Nonsense of the highest order. You have to understand that when you're dealing with joints, muscle, ligaments, tendons, that musculoskeletal system depends significantly on your central nervous system, which needs proper omegas for its function. Statins is not your friend. Do not let people give you cholesterol medication. One of the things we're going to start bringing, but you know we have a lot of teas, right? We have some superstar teas, Santulan, Circulation, I. Gastro seemed to be coming and running in the race. He's done in that category already. Everybody raving about this gastrointestinal tea that we have now. And um, what I, joint tea is also a good one, but I need to bring back um, the white tea because white tea helps a lot with pain and circulation. It's a product. A lot of women use it very close to the menstrual cycle. We bring in a very good brand, so that is something you could always look at. But so that situation you have, we can help you in that situation. Okay? Ms. Annie Grant, a pleasant good morning to you. Uh, so those telephone numbers, again, you can give us a call on 228261. That's 228261. I didn't even realize it's 1057 already. Um, 
yes, already we have spoken so much. It's two hours we here already, you know. Right? Um, yeah, Irish moss um, is very good. Uh, you know, it's something I tell take what I'm telling you, you could get. I actually looking at sourcing, I think I'd have bring um Irish moss for you guys. <laughs> uh, yes, Miss Moses. <laughs> Uh, and we we'll help see. in that situation. Let's see, we can bust up a few here. All right, so, yeah. Doc, quickly tell us in the shortest amount of words why is cold water bad? Messes up your digestive system. All right, so, text that. I hope that answers your question. Yes. Uh, what can stop lymphatic drainage from a breast cancer patient? What can stop lymphatic drainage from a be breast cancer patient? That is the question. All right. They have not, they, 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 they didn't provide it. That, that, that question is a little ambiguous. I'm trying all to right, so I'm assuming that, all right, so they want to stop it uh, from draining the, from draining from the lymph nodes. So 65 year old breast cancer patient. Okay. Uh, I can't have no because, more information. Yeah, yeah, you need to give them more information because see, I try to understand if it is they have lymphedema. So is it that they, they have swelling? And they want to have it drained, or is it that they do they remove lymph nodes and there is a current opening, and as a result of that, they have maybe pus and debris coming out of it? That's what I'm trying to ascertain. All right, so yeah. Texter, you need to get back to us quickly. Yeah, you need to you need to give me a little more information there. All right, say there is an opening. That okay, right? That is what I was thinking. So it means so what you're gonna have to do if it is you they say they are breast cancer patient. So I don't know if the breast was removed. If the breast was removed, then uh, it's just a matter of um, anti-inflammatory. So you're looking at things like alkogen water. Santunan could also help. I don't know your weakness level. If it is, you would have done chemotherapy and radiation. So I, I kind of um, looking at that there. Um, in addition to that, you're looking at things like your omegas, uh, inflammation formula, silver, that type of thing. Uh, if the breast was not removed, well, that's, that'll be, I hope that is the case. That is a much better situation. Then it's just a matter of actually getting the inflammation out. And it's going to be easier if the breast is there still. So I don't know if it, they, you had a lump, they removed the lump, they left the breast, or if they removed the breast completely. All, All right? right. So you responded by saying only, only chemotherapy was done. So only chemotherapy. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right, so give us a call at 625-2759, 625-2759, or 624-7729. This is the program Overcoming Health Issues Naturally with Batson and Associates. Uh, good morning. Please ask Dr. Batson, when would he be getting the Royal Jelly Capsules? Ooh, only, only don't forget, man. You're getting your Royal Jelly Capsules in January. Yeah, we're getting a shipment in January. Well, the ever popular evening primrose is a is a good choice. The only problem with evening primrose now is like with most things, I'm very brand specific. There are some real kind of nonsense brands. Um, once you get one that is um, there's the there's a product we carry called Women's Formula, you know, that um has some aspect of that in it, but it's a more advanced product that could help in that situation. I would suggest you get um some evening primrose and start to use it. Uh, we could also uh, introduce you to women's formula, uh, optimizer, nerve restore. That's also going to help. Because the thing is, when you're perimenopause, what you have now is uh, endocrine imbalance and hormonal upheaval as a result of endocrine imbalance. <clears throat> Excuse me. In some instances, we also need to address the gastrointestinal system. But that's an easy thing to deal with. I mean, because and all the situations that come with it, because you have the depression, the anxiety, the problem, sleep, and all those type of things. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're taking your calls, my friends. Uh, uh, Doc, yes or no? Do you carry oral probiotics? Do we carry oral probiotics? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. So you can give clinical call, my 
friends, and of course, you get your stuff. Call up, good morning. Hello? Yes, good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. Yes, I want to, I want to talk about hey. to the doctor. Yeah. I have a yeah. problem. My um, colon on the right side of the chest had a little sick, but the other side is normal. And I do not go in off as often as I should. Someone told me that my bush has probably dropped. Uh, I don't know about, about that. The bush has dropped. Is that so? How long this happening to you now? So how long is that while? A month, two months, six months, a year? Yeah, about, maybe about two months, you know. About two months? You seen any yeah, blood? You seen any blood? Um, I learned from, from you, but um, it doesn't seem to be helping much. How you use this, this okay, hand to learn? I eat food and then two, three days I didn't mind off. And I'm very concerned. Do you, do, and, and you, you're more, you're, you're, you have mobility, right? So you're walking and everything, right? And you never did any any scans, like any CT scans, any MRIs, any ultrasounds, anything like that? No, no. Never anything like that. All right, I just send you for ultrasound. I could always do a letter and send you for ultrasound because that's something, that's something a little concerning. The possibility exists you may... What I did, I can Yeah, but... but yes. You go, it gone again. You see, the, what I have experienced with a lot of persons, which is why we put protocols together. So maybe you use the santulan, but maybe we just need to adjust how you use the santulan and you use the santulan with other things. But what I, what I would suggest you do from today is, or well, or tomorrow, get a bottle of olive oil. Do you suffer? Do, do you suffer from hypertension? Okay, 85. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. The possibility exists to you. We may need, you might want a little work as regards to the muscles in the intestines and that kind of thing. Because when you reach a certain age, muscles tend to atrophy, which means the muscles weaken. And in order for you to get proper bowel movement, proper bowel movement is a central nervous system function, eh? your, your autonomic nervous system parasympathetic sympathetic so it's a matter the possibility exists maybe the muscles and the nerves could want some work and as a result of that to, to get that stimuli to actually encourage ball movement is not as dear as it should as i said because of the age so it, it might be a two-pronged approach where we might have to do some sort of physiotherapy situation and do a protocol where i include like things like digestive balance digestive restore and actually fix back some work with the digestive system. So it could be a structural and a, a gastrointestinal system issue that needs to be addressed. Alright, All right, so see if you could at least um, call, message the 314 number. That's our WhatsApp. I don't know. You, you could use WhatsApp? Yes, you can use WhatsApp. Nice. Hey, you're in the game. So you send our WhatsApp with your information and I'll make sure um, and get back to you. What's your number? Three three one four nine nine seven five. Okay. Right? Three one four. Thank you, my doctor. You're welcome, sir. Right. Okay, Doc. I like this question, so I'm gonna read it as is. Okay. Uh good morning. A week or two ago you said that drinking cold things isn't good. Right. Does that include my glass of juice so when having a meal, a nice meal? I also have a habit of eating the ice. So I, I just, you know, that mm. go to your heart content. To your heart content. Uh, go ahead, now, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was waiting on that. I mean, <laughs> in in all honesty, I mean, I do expect you to drink hot juice. Really, I mean, um, you know. So in a case like that, is something that you could indulge in. But I would recommend you do that on a daily basis. You see, the thing is, this. We, we have our, our culture, we have a juice culture, which is a bad thing. That's one of the reasons why Caribbean people have so much diabetes, because we, we like a juice, you know, um, and a lot of times it's just a matter of too much juice. So drink your juice cold, yes, but how much juice you drink it? And especially if you do your little berries, when you do your shake, I do expect, I do my shake room temperature, everybody just be annoyed in the house, like, oh, indeed, how you could drink that? That isn't so bad. 
uh, it's my shake. <laughs> so I drink in my shake at room temperature. Uh, if you come in my house, you wouldn't get cold water. I don't put cold water to make. So yeah, when people when people come by me, they'll be annoyed. They're like, good grief, what is wrong with you? You need to put things here for guests. My thing is I don't want you in my place, so I get here. <laughs> That's a joke. But um, you know, so in that case, yes. But you know, with water, because I do expect you to drink 10 glasses of juice for the day. You're supposed to drink if you drink it, just maybe one glass of juice. So if you drink one cold beverage for the day, I wouldn't kill you for that. But your water, which is supposed to be eight and ten glasses, you can't be drinking that as cold water. And men have a tendency to tell you, especially when you're working outside in this heat, you want to drink cold water, you all will kill all yourself. You know? Listen to me. You know you can drink water, cold water, and it can stop your heart, right? I don't think I don't think people, don't think people know that. Eh? You can literally, your heart could stop beat just because of doing that. Cold things internally is not a good thing for you. Try your best. Break, just break the habit. It's just a matter of, of slowly putting yourself in the situation because the problem with a lot of y'all is that water not more than flour yet. So you're playing the fool. It's when water more than flour and the doctor tell you, hey, your kidney go in. Then you want to behave good. So, as we always say, a ounce of prevention is better than a pound that cure. Don't wait. Don't wait until things bad. Some of you want to come by me, hook up, hang up, and then come and tell me, Dr. Batsu, uh, uh, what guarantee I have? I just watched them. I said, oh, they're mad, you know. Or they went and let them doctor do all, all, all kind of things. Blow your nose, go and blow your nose when you get cold. Or they want to, me to fix their ratchet fee. How much ratchet fee I go fix? Or they're not, they not iron. You feel as well, then. I could just take all your dismantle here and do a better weld. It don't work, so. You understand? Uh, back to the board here quickly. And uh, you see, Doc Christie can put my mineral formula in the fridge. Then want to take it out to spoil. Can I still drink it? Yeah, of course. That's no problem. You could eat. Okay. The refrigerator wouldn't bother it. Okay. Let's okay. take a quick call. Call, I'll get it to you. Hi. Yes. Good yes, sir. Morning. Hey, sir. Yep. So if you have people in this year, so you have to um, do something else with it, and I lose off here. Okay, good, no problem. No, you don't want to roast those nuts. A lot of people, you know, they, 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 they partially roast them. I prefer them raw. Um, but either way, it's, it, either way, it's good for you. Um, you think it's nuts is a very good thing for you, eh? Uh, in terms of brain and memory and all those type of things. So you don't need to, you could either have it raw or have it partially, you know. I, I don't like the salt it too much. Unless they use it, like maybe the um the sea salt, that type of thing. You could do it for yourself. So that's not a problem where that is concerned. Uh someone's okay. asking, can they have oats and flax every day? Of course you can. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. That's good roughage, that's good omegas in your diet there. In fact, that is what you're supposed to have. You're supposed to have some sort of roughage. Your oats, flax seed. Keep in mind when you're using oats, you don't boil oats, right? You throw the hot water on the oats. And when you're using oats, you use um, either steel cut or you use rolled oats. Not the other oats. That is kind of dusty looking. You want the ones that are coarser. The thing is, when you boil oats, you break it down so much that it can stick on the lining of your intestines. When the oats is, you know, like stiff and hard, it goes through the intestines and it should. Remember, that's the importance of roughage, right? Roughage actually increases what? Peristalsis. What is peristalsis? Muscular movements through the digestive tracts. So feel free to give us a call or visit. Dominic, you'll tell me how we're going with time, eh? Uh, wow. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> we have four minutes. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right. Too much of one thing is not good. What tea can I drink all the time without doing damage to my organs? Oh, that's a good question, I know. Question. Circulation. But I wouldn't suggest you drink one tea. Mix your teas up. You don't want to buy tea alone from the from Baxter and Associates. You have, or they have fever grass in all they have. Pick some fever grass and drink it. Lime. My house always has lime. I don't make joke with that. Always, always. Yes. And them lime people on the highway like me. When I see them, and especially if they have a good few, and they see it's good money, I tell them, throw about five in the back. See, they hold your money. So I don't go and look for no lime. You take a, a, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of lemon, you put it in some hot water and drink it. Make it make it a habit to drink hot teas through all the day or at least once a day. And I'm telling you, if you do it consistently, you will see a change in your health, you'll see a change in your weight, you'll see a change in your energy. 
just by doing that. And at Baxter, right, so sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, finish up. No, no, what I was going to say, um, at Baxter and Associates, you know, we carry a wide variety of tea. Next year, next year, God's willing, we get in a whole man. I'm only going to be in, in heaven when I finish it all. I bring in all kind of ginger, spruce, and this, watch me, tea galore that you could think about. High quality. Um, we also bring in um, this thing, Bengal chai. Uh, this is a particular one, of, a favorite of mine. Um, so, you know, we have things coming for you all. So, things coming. All right, let's take a uh, voice note here. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you, Professor Dominic and uh, Dr. Batson. Dr. Batson, you can tell me if you are a super immune builder, builder for the immune system. And what's the best way to take that? Is it an IMD setup? Um, okay, I don't know if he's speaking about a particular product because he's saying super immune booster. So I don't know. It sounds as if you're referring to a particular brand of immune thing. Um, so I'm not too familiar with that name. Um, if I have products to boost the immune system, yes, we do. A number of them, mineral film formula with colloidal silver is one of my favorite. We have immune formula. Um, that does some good work. Um, we also have the nerve restore that could also help in that situation. So there are a number of things that we could actually organize and have organized for this whole situation as it relates to the immune system. Okay? Uh, so, let me just give you those telephone numbers quickly. You can give us a call on 228261. That's 228261 as well as 3149975. That's 3149975. And those locations, we are located on the first floor of Money Talks Building. That is Money Talks Building in Montreux, Chagonas. We are also on the corner of Ramsey Moon Street and the SSA Main Road in Dede. And we also in Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. And Tobago is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. So, as we always say at Batsman Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Dominic, sir, always a pleasure. A pleasant good morning again to the listeners of Sky 99.5. Do enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Remember that that meal you're making today is Sunday. Meal try and have a little more salad. Lesson down on the pie and the macaroni salad and the potato salad. Throw in a little fish in the mix. And God bless. Get your time to land this week. Yes, sir. Get your time to land this week. All right, my friend, Doc, thank you so very much. Enjoy oh, the season. Pleasure. And of course, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Uh, we look forward to continuing in this venture, my friend. Okay. So... <laughs> To my listeners on Facebook. Now, we have a lot of questions there. So, what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm a man of my word, I'm going to ensure that I get someone from my office, I'm going to give them a piece of job to go through all these messages, and we're going to try our best to give you all a response. Now, uh, we're going to try and respond here in, you know, the smartest way possible, and if we need to get your contact information, then we get that. All right? Because yours truly is very hungry right now. So, uh, let me just say, uh, we're doing program next week, Thursday, Shakil. Yes, we are. Yes, so you can join. And Sunday. And Sunday as it's well. Boxing, boxing, oh, yeah. We, we're doing Box Sunday program, right? Well, well we're supposed to. Yeah, program. because that's more one more program. One power kick. Definitely, yeah. right? Yeah. So, Thursday, you all can tune in again. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Batsnan Associates Limited, Instagram, Batsnan Associates TT, YouTube, Batsnan Associates Trinidad. And of course, yes, um, Miss Vanderpool. Yes, we do have stuff for kidney stones, very effective too, as well. Miss Pauline McKenna, thank you very much for that great day. You as well, Miss Dawn Ellis. Always a pleasure to have you here, my dear. And I respect and appreciate your comments, my dear. Uh, so guys, uh, next week, please, God, I'll be here again Thursday, uh, and that will be on 10. 103, 103.1 FM, which is 11 a.m., and Akashvani, which is 106.1 or 5 FM. Why am I only mixing up these radio stations? 106.1? I think Akashvani is 106.5 FM. No? It is, no, I think. Yeah. Akashvani, right? Um, That is Thursday from 12.15 to 12.45, okay? Which is on Instagram, okay? Um, nephrotic syndrome, yeah, we could deal with that. Yeah, y'all know I, I, I will look here and then I'll start to answer questions, but I'm really hungry. All right, um, we're looking at you know giving you some extra lives maybe around 
like evenings, that kind of thing. I'm looking at working and out without killing myself or Shaki. Okay? But always a pleasure to be in your company, Facebook family. Do enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Be safe. And, you know, stay safe in all this, you know, social distance. Taking necessary precautions, you know. So that you could live God's willing to see 2022 and hopefully that's a better year. You know, everything is in God's hand. So always a pleasure. Do enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you and your family. As we always say at Batson and Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. God bless and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And stay tuned for next Tuesday, God's willing. As I said, I will go through those questions and I'll make sure you get a response. And if we need to get on to you, contact information, we will do that. Okay? Take care.